Hello grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. Today we have um, solving equations, but we have brackets. And specifically on one side, gives you a hint we might have brackets on both sides. In the future, let's hop right in to a problem. Uh, the first one has brackets on the left. So two, six X minus four equals 76. We are going to go ahead and distribute this 2 across the brackets. We would do the brackets first, but there's a variable and a constant. We can't do anything with that. So 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. That all equals 76. I forgot my x. It goes right there. We're going to move the minus 8 across the equal sign. It becomes positive on the other side. So we have 12x. It's equal to 76 plus 8 is 84. We divide both sides by 12, or we move the 12 to the other side. It goes on the bottom. x is equal to 8, 24, 36, 48, 60, and then 72. So no, it's 7. x is equal to 7. All right. Good, good, good. Let's continue to the next one. We have 6, 1 minus 2p equals 78. We're going to go ahead and again distribute the 6 through the brackets. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times minus 2 is minus 12. We bring the variable along. That all equals 78. We're going to bring the positive 6 over to the other side, which means it's negative on that side, so that's minus 12p is equal to 78 minus 6 is 72. Divide both sides by minus 12. p is equal to 6. All right. So when we have brackets on one side, we get rid of them by using the distributive property. And then we proceed forward to combine like terms move numbers across the equal sign so that we can isolate the variable. Solving is isolating. 92 is equal to minus 4 times 4v minus 7. We're going to go ahead and distribute the minus 4 through the brackets. It's on the right hand side, but that doesn't really matter. We're going to do it anyway. 92 is equal to minus 4 times 4 is minus 16v. plus, because minus times minus, so 4 times 7 is 28. We're going to move the 28 across the equal sign. It is minus 28 on that side. So 92 minus 28, that's 84, then 64. So 64 is equal to minus 16v. We're going to move the minus 16 down to the other side. 64 divided by minus 16, that's minus 4. So v is equal to minus 4. All right, let's do a little bit of a bigger one. Minus 4x plus 6 minus 5x minus 5 equals 174. All right, all right. Let's see. We're going to distribute the 6. Minus 4x plus 6 times minus 5. That's minus 30x. And 6 times minus 5 is minus 30. That all equals 174. We're going to combine these two like terms. And we're going to take this minus 30 and we're going to move it across the equal sign. It's going to become plus 30 on the other side. So this is minus 34x is equal to 204. Okay, we're going to divide both sides by minus 34. All right, let's reduce this fraction. I don't know what this is right away. I'm um, hoping that I know, but we'll see. Uh, divide both sides by 2. We get 102 over 17. Uh-oh. Okay, does 117 go into 102. 
So I just have to count up. I'm not really familiar with 17 uh, multiples. So 34 and then 51, and we would have 68 and 85. We would move on from that to do 92, 102. Okay, yes, it does work. So that is two, three, four, five, six. 102 divided by 17 is six. So this is also, you need to remember, negative. So x is equal to six. Just check this in our calculator. I want to make sure. 204 divided by minus 34 equals six. All right, we did it, it's minus six. Let's go on to the next one. This is the last one, it looks like. Maybe the most complicated, who knows. Minus 79, that last one was not easy. Minus seven plus two times five R minus one. Everything's on the right hand side, that's okay. Let's distribute the two. Two times five is 10 R. Two times minus one is minus two. We are going to have to combine these like terms first. That makes it easier. So this makes minus nine. So 79 is equal to minus nine plus 10 R. Then we can move this across the equal sign. It becomes plus nine when it's on the other side. So seven, minus 79 plus nine, we move towards zero. So it's getting smaller. That means that it's minus 70 is equal to 10 R. And we can go ahead and divide both sides by 10. R is equal to minus 7. Minus 70 divided by 10 is minus 7. If you guys have questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you soon.